My dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, every year on 1st October, the church celebrates the feast of Saint Therese of Lisieux, also known as the Little Flower. Her life has been an inspiration to millions of people around the world. She was born on 2nd January 1873. She was one of the last child of the nine children born in a devout family. At an early age, Saint Therese lost her mother. She was very emotional from the beginning and she prayed to Jesus that she be made strong. She wanted to become a religious nun at the age of 14, but then was rejected several times due to her young age. Saint Therese then personally requested Pope Leo XIII to intercede on her behalf. She was finally admitted to the convent. When she was in the convent, she experienced repeated sufferings and she prayed to God that the God may help her to undergo these sufferings. She came to be called as Saint Therese of Child Jesus due to her little ways, the ways in which she practiced simplicity, humility, constant self-sacrifice, and boundless love and trust in God were her outstanding virtues. She grew and advanced rapidly in holiness. It was her little ways in which she practiced the duties of everyday life for the love of God. She has become a model and inspiration in the lives of ordinary people. Saint Therese underwent suffering and she praised God to help her to undergo these sufferings. Her love for God was so immense. She writes in her autobiography, The Story of the Soul. It was her little way of performing perfectly the duties of everyday life for the love of God. She has become a model and inspiration to millions of ordinary people around the world. She writes in her autobiography, The Story of the Soul, not to be conspicuous in anything, not to reveal her ailments, and to show friendship and sympathy towards those who cause suffering. Saint Therese became the novice mistress at the age of 22, and she felt that her task was to assist priests and missionaries through her prayers. And she used to pray for all priests and missionaries around the world those who were working in the missions. Saint Therese was so patient in life that she underwent suffering for God's merciful love. She died at an early age of 24 on 30th September 1897. She was beatified in the year 1923 and she was canonized on 17th May 1925 by Pope Leo XI she is regarded as the patron of Catholic missions. She was also declared as the doctor of the church by St. John Paul II in the year 1997. St. Therese, through her little ways, inspired people to love and undergo suffering. She is surely a patron for us all in our times of suffering. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, let us intercede through Saint Therese of Child Jesus to pray for us in our own sufferings and also to pray for us that we may do perfectly the little duties of everyday life.